Hello everybody, it is day 98 of the 365 day vlog and also one day of no drinking so and honestly right now I feel like not drinking ever again oh fuck like I can smell alcohol on my breath still from drinking last night and it sucks I like feel like total shit to be honest um, and not, <laughs> it feels like a, what a hangover would be, but not really, because I'm not to turn to light. I'm not, like, nauseous. It's just, ugh. Ugh. So, yeah. As I explained in the other vlog, I'm not going to be drinking for a whole month, because I've been drinking way too much. And it's going to show me whether or not I'm having a problem stopping drinking or anything like that. So, for sure I'm not. Never been one to be addicted to this shit. I can always just stop cold turkey. <laughs> Kinda like my brother when he stopped smoking, just boom. So shouldn't be too uh too hard. And I always like a challenge, so that's a thing. What is my goal for today? I don't know what my goal for today is, honestly. Probably just clean my room and put stuff up that I already had planned to do. Read. Practice piano and not drink. Should be too hard, right? So, as you guys may know, today is day 98 and nothing happened today. This is actually like day 99, but I'm recording it, you know, for day 98. <clears throat> and it kind of sucks when you've got nothing to do. Like today, rather yesterday, um, I just worked and from there I just hung out and chilled. It's also day two of not drinking. So that's that. And yeah. Didn't really do much today. Just uh, got out of work. Ate. And yeah. That's it. One thing I definitely have to do is sign up to a gym because I haven't worked out like literally in a month. It sucks. Like I kind of feel like shit to be honest. So I gotta sign up to a gym. Most likely I'm gonna sign up to uh, LA Fitness. It's gotta get myself around to doing it. <sighs> I also have to start practicing my driving as well. Uh, so that's that. Uh, yeah, I also, uh, I realized in the days that I don't really do anything, like, I get, like, depressed very easily, and it sucks, because, like, I haven't had, like, a, a mood swing since, like, about, like, 60 days ago, like, days 90-something, uh, and I'm not, I'm really trying to distract myself and not, like, let that happen, so... Yeah, but what I ended up doing was I, I went to my YouTube channel and I just started scrolling down and kind of seeing, like, oh, shit. I've made some progress. Like, I've, I've been vlogging for about 98 days. That's fucking crazy. Like, you, like I've been putting out video every single day. For 98 days straight. Almost 100 days. And I never thought I would ever do something like this, to be honest. I would never thought I was actually going to commit 100% to this and do this every single day. And have something to talk about. But I guess it's just like, to me I realized that just talking in front of the camera, it's just it just becomes therapeutic. To release my thoughts and stuff like that. I normally, you know, write, you know, and stuff like that, but sometimes writing gets, you know, a little too heavy. And it gets a little too deep. Sometimes I just want to just talk and talk shit. And that's what I realized the vlogging's really done for me. Uh, yeah. I realized that uh, I've been... I, I talked to a friend, like, a while ago about, like, you know, how friendships work and stuff, and... I realized that I'm, uh, I don't know, I'm not the type of person when it comes to friends to constantly be talking to people and stuff like that. A friend called me a cactus, 
and uh, what's it called? Basically, the uh, the metaphor she was using was basically like you know some people are cacti, some people are you know like water lilies. Some people need to be watered every single day and be surrounded by water, and other people need to be you know watered every now and then. I'm a cactus. Like if I talk to you like once a month, like next month I see you, I'm gonna act like I saw you like yesterday. Like it's I don't know. I just I don't really need to be constantly talking to people. And that's why I think it's so like easy for me to be alone. Like I don't know. I've always been like eh, I could I could live alone. I could do this alone. Blah, blah, blah. When I was taking my month off alone, like you know, I took a month off a uh, couple of months back. Because, you know, I just, like, uh, this is, like, the third month I had broken out, third month that I had been single, and I was, like, going through some shit, I found out some shit about, like, my ex and my friends that I didn't really like, and that kind of sucked, and I was like, you know what, I need to cleanse myself of all my toxic people and all the social media and stuff like that, so that's what I did, and, yeah. I realize I don't really need people. It's kind of kind of shitty thing to say, but yeah, it's sometimes I feel better off alone. Most of the time, I feel better off alone. A lot of times, I kind of feel like I'm the only one who understands, you know, me, and that kind of sucks. I'm not gonna lie. Don't get me wrong. I have people I can talk to, and you know, Van and stuff like that. But sometimes I just don't feel like people are like there with me, you know. Other times I do, so it's rewarding, you know, it's it's, it's, reju it's rejuvenating, that's a word. Yeah, that's that's what I'm going to rant about today, I guess, talk about today. So if you like what you're watching, go ahead and like, subscribe, comment, put the notification bell on so you know where I'm putting on my vlogs. And as always, until the next time.